So I glued the all the uh, oh shoot, they just left me anyways. I glued everything basically together and uh, pre-fit on the um, engines, so I can uh, paint them and like I can airbrush them like this. But uh, later on, I can go in and just kind of pick them off and then do you know better detail work. Um, had it on the stand for the refit one here, just so I could see what it looked like. And uh, I left it here for a few days. I'm quite happy with how it how it actually looks. It's kind of different. Let me just tilt this up a little bit. I think. There we go. So it's you know it's it's a, it's kind of nice to have this something that's just this. Um, this different compared to the original, but um, right now it's definitely you know bearing roots back to a, an Akira class or even a Miranda class in a way. But um, like I said, though, I'm having a lot of fun with that. So what I wanted to do is, um, like I said before, I wanted to do some Azteking, try that out, making my own masks and stuff like that, just little squares out of tape. Um, but what I needed to do is, is the, the colors, those are my big problems right now. And for this one here, um, let me just show you, for the NX-01 here, uh, back in the day I, I, I think I mentioned this is a Humbrol Silver that I added black paint to, and then the other gray here, this is the color of the plastic. And um, yeah, this is probably the last time I've actually ever left the bare plastic on there, but uh, it's a very nice color, very I think close to the uh, to the show. And then for the other one here for the refit, if you recall, I used gunmetal uh, lacquer from Tamiya, and this is Tester's uh, steel, very nice dull kind of dark silver, and I uh, quite like that. But I'd like to try something different for this one. And uh, I was watching the show. The Enterprise in the show, at least from seasons one to three, uh, there is Aztecing done to it, but it is very much the same kind of color. There's not much of a difference between the two. Um, and then when you get to the Columbia and the Enterprise in season five, they, you know, for the most part, they they kept the same scenes of the Enterprise in season four, not five. Sorry. Um, but when they got to the Columbia, it's definitely a silver on top of a much lighter kind of silver, almost a gunmetal, light, very light gunmetal type color. So for this one, I wanted to try kind of going back to the uh, NX-01 that I just built over there. And I wanted to use metallic gray, and so I made this little um, paint chart here. Here is uh, Tamiya Aluminum, I have it labeled as silver. And here is the metallic gray. Uh, I'm using metallic gray and silver because I can mix them together. If I use gunmetal, it's a gloss paint and I can't mix them. So, uh, or at least I could, it wouldn't work out very well. Uh, a better luck if they're both flats. Anyways, uh, this is two parts uh, silver here and one part metallic gray. And this is a 50-50 mix between the two. And so that's what I basically did. This is what it's actually going to look like. And so I mixed it up into a bottle here, and uh, it's, it's quite a nice looking color, I think. Um, it's definitely got that, uh, it's definitely going to be kind of more like the Enterprise, um, where it's it blends in more, the Aztec, which is kind of what I, I personally like. Because when, you, when you're looking at the NX-01 Enterprise, uh, what happened is a lot of the toys that they did, they did a very abrupt, like a very light silver and then a very dark uh, gunmetal color. And when they did that, that kind of became the sa the standard for it. You know, it wasn't a lot of people weren't looking at the show. A lot of people really like that and it does look good. Uh, I'm not going to deny that. I think it looks pretty cool. A lot of these guys doing them, they do it in a really bright and dark color. But I want to have something a little bit more blending together. So... I'm going to go and uh, check out my airbrush, make sure it's clean, and I'm going to go take this guy, and I'm just going to go and, uh, I'm just going to go airbrush the entire thing this color, 
and uh, then I'm going to give it a couple coats of future and then we'll be ready to start masking I also got in the decal paper I don't know if I mentioned that uh, it came in much earlier than I thought so pretty soon I'm going to get started making uh, those decals so I'll show you guys how we're going to do that so anyways let's go uh, do some airbrushing alright hold on I gotta just change that okay alright guys I uh, haven't done an update in a little while and um, yeah as you can see I clearly masked off the model and I'm just going to go through a little bit of what I did here the process it was, was kind of hard for me to explain I, I did do a video but I decided I should just finish uh, masking it and then do kind of a final video which is obviously what I'm doing right here so um, where I started out with this was to go look at actual pictures of the Enterprise and I haven't followed the Enterprise or the Columbia down to a T at all I've kind of made up my own which I'm quite happy with um, when I looked at the model I thought what can I do with it and I decided by making these kind of lines going up the uh, up each of the grids here and you can see they start down bigger at the bottom and then get smaller at the top and so I did all that and I thought yeah, that's that looks kind of cool and then I just made all these little uh, rectangles here and they go down and up and down and these ones would go up if there was anything there and down and up and it's just this nice little pattern here and once I finished that I, f I went and uh, decided I should do more of that type of thing but I uh, used squares and um, so I've added in a couple of these little squares and more rectangles everywhere and quite happy with how that turned out here so flipping it out on the bottom on the underside here, I, I did sort of a similar um, project here, but um, I, I, I don't know, I had a, had a bit of a change of an idea since it starts at the center here. Um, you can see some of them go out like this, but then every other one will go in, which I quite like, and uh, well, with the exception of these three here. But um, yeah, I quite like that, and then I just added more little maskings in there and added more little detail. and. I, I quite like it. I, I'm quite happy with how it turned out and then I went along here. Um, one, one of the things I did when I was looking at um, inspiration for it is, is I, I looked at uh, actual decals that you can buy for the Azteking and one set that I found, I really liked this idea that they had and it was how to paint or how to mask off these twin boons here and theirs were kinda cool is they didn't have anything on them and actually when you watch the show some modelers even have these painted uh, a different gray color um, which I actually kinda like I thought that that'd be a bit you know different to have on the model so I I masked off this little area here because all the other ones I have that masked off it's kind of a you know a little bit of a, a tradition I guess and then added just a couple squares here and there and just a little bit here I might go ahead and repaint afterwards some of the little details because they're they're harder to mask off. It'd be easier just to paint that on by, by hand. But uh, I, I, I left on only some of the lines on here just to kind of create the sunburst pattern because I really like it. I didn't. I, I, I toyed with the idea of just cutting them off here, but decided to heck with it. Just leave it on there to look nice. Um, when I did the refit, the one problem I had with the engines is when I looked at them, I painted all these squares here silver. And it looks nice, but when you look at it from a distance, it looks like just a big silver line. So I had this idea to make little uh, boxes. So I cut these out here, and, and, and each of these are just a little box. So I can't wait to see how those look. And then there's little bits of squares everywhere there. And, um, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and paint all this now. I'm going to get airbrushing. I'm going to use metallic gray again. Uh, XF56. And... Uh, yeah, quite anxious for this. Uh, let's go and I'm gonna go get airbrushing. I'll be back once it's all done, and we're gonna remove all the masking. And fingers crossed that it all turns out. So here we go. All right, guys, here it is. It's all painted up, nice metallic gray, quite a nice color. And uh, hopefully, I got it on flat um, without you know, because when you usually when you tape on paint, you want to do a nice flat layer, otherwise you get a little bit of a build up. But I think I could just wet sand that away. So next step here is to take quite a long time and uh, remove all the maskings so let me just try right here 
This is going to take me a very long time to do, but I don't really mind. Huh. I quite like that silver and uh, the gray. Now, I have to just be really careful here that I don't accidentally scratch the paint. Yeah, there's a, there's a bit of a build-up, but it's not bad. You know, I, I, I've done worse on other models, but one of the things I'd like to try here, and hopefully I won't remove the, the paint, but I just want to do a test on this, see. Now it looks like the tape's tougher. Yeah, no. Oh well. I guess I'll just carefully peel them off instead of accidentally scratching it. But uh, looks good. Really, really happy with that. So yeah, now on to uh, yeah the long, grueling process of removing the tape, which. I knew it was coming, I was anticipating this, but now that I'm actually here, I'm not, not really looking forward to it. But, um, oh well, that's all part of the game, so uh, I'm going to go hurry up with this, and then paint all the little metallic brown pieces on here, like the bridge, and whatever these are supposed to be. They look like superchargers, and little areas around here that need to be a nice copper. So, time to go have some fun.